Welcome back. Well, today is World Stroke Day, a day set aside to help spread the word about stroke warning signs and risks. Many of us still don't think of strokes as a major health concern, and although a lot of progress has been made, we still have a ways to go. Joining us this morning is Sharon O'Reilly, the stroke coordinate, nurse coordinator at Baptist Health. It's a mouthful, but you have a very important job over there. Tell us about uh, why uh, us talking about strokes is such a, an important issue. 800,000 uh, people a year have a stroke, and out of those 800,000 people, 137,000 people will likely die from that stroke. So every 40 seconds, someone's having a stroke. Every four minutes, someone's dying from a stroke. It is the fourth leading cause of death in the U.S., and it is the first leading cause of disability. So if we were to put this in perspective with breast cancer, one in every six women die of a stroke. One in every 25 women die of breast cancer. So we're trying to get more awareness out. We're trying to teach about the signs and symptoms of a stroke and also uh, ways we can prevent it. What are those signs and symptoms that we should look for? Signs and symptoms of a stroke, if you can remember the acronym FAST, F-A-S-T, F stands for the face. You want to look at their face. Is their face drooping? Uh, you can ask them to smile, and it's a very obvious sign of a stroke. The second thing is A, your arms. Suddenly they lose weakness in an arm, and so you can have them put their arms out, um, but that's a sign of a stroke there. S is for speech, and if their speech becomes garbled, if they, their speech becomes slurred, or if they suddenly cannot communicate at all, another sign of a stroke. And the T is for time. Time becomes so crucial after a stroke. After a stroke, you lose 9.1 million neurons per minute. So getting that patient to the emergency room, call 911, do not drive them to the uh, emergency room, and their process will be expedited. If they're a candidate for a special drug called TPA, that has to be, or the best outcomes occur if you can get that patient to the hospital and checked through within three hours or less. And you're telling me that for several reasons, Arkansas actually is, uh, does not do very well. We are the second leading uh, uh, stroke deaths in the United States. Okay. And so in 2011, there were reported 1,692 stroke deaths in Arkansas. Part of that is we're working, you know, to make that statistic change. Mm -hmm. What are some of those contributing factors to that? Risk factors for strokes are high blood pressure, uh, high cholesterol, diabetes, obesity, uh, people that smoke, people that have alcohol abuse, people who are physically inactive. Those people, atrial fib is also a big one. Those are all risks for stroke. And you were talking about uh, just the fact that if, if you do think someone is having a stroke, those seconds really are so important. So you need to call 911 and not just try to Absolutely. take someone to the hospital. Absolutely. And 80% of strokes are preventable. And the number one preventable, modifiable risk for stroke is hypertension. Hmm. Um, also, you know, getting your diabetes in check, getting your atrial fib medication. Uh, seeing your primary care doctor every year is important because they will modify a lot of these risk factors. Uh, exercise, of course, and losing weight, a BMI under 25. And I think the most crucial thing about strokes, what people don't understand, is uh, strokes do not discriminate. Strokes can happen to anyone at any age and at any time. Mm -hmm. It's a scary situation that we all need to know more about. Thank you so much for educating us. And if you guys at home have any more questions, you can always get more information from the Baptist Health Healthline. That's 1-888-BAPTIST. You can see that number on your screen. Thank you so much for being here Thank and sharing you. that information Thank with us. Very much. All right, it's time to see who's celebrating.